Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad, and in today's Daily Dose of Tarot, we are going to check into the 6th of uh, June, uh, 2022nd, and uh, should any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, which link you're going to find in the description down below, and uh, there you're going to find full list of my services and as well their pricing. So with that said, uh, let's uh, check on what the day has in store for us and uh, the first card of the day that happens to be the nine of uh, swords followed by the second card here which we have the tower wow and uh, the third card does stand as a the nine of uh, the nine of wands so we do have uh, these three cards here. All right, so needless to say, for anyone who slightly looks into tarot, uh, this is going to be a tough day, okay? Uh, we do have uh, the Nine of Swords there, the Tower, the Nine of Wands. So it's uh, going to be a day where we are going to feel on the edge a little bit. Um, I'm struggling to pull the expression really, but in my country we do have that expression with the knife touches the bone, or that is when you pretty much have nothing left to lose. But not it is because things are happening under a bad circumstances. Now, if we had the cards other way around, because we do have those three here, okay, sitting as that Nine of Swords, which is a prime one. From one side, we do have the Tower card. From the other, we do have the Nine of Wands. If we do have the Tower at the very front of it, well, then we are in a deep... Yeah. Here with the Nine of Swords, that more touches of the consequences we may be trying to avoid up until this point and as they kind of like build up and that what makes us feeling on the edge a little bit so <clears throat> having the tower card and uh, the nine of swords these two it's quite of a difficult to explain how it's gonna go now this is a very it has a very broad touch and it could touch literally everything but that is the the consequences of a i would say denial and just think about it that way okay let me give you a few examples so think about it that you hate your job and you're trying to convince yourself into that that's the best you can get right or in other words you are beguiling yourself and that is a consequence and that or kind of like that carries on a consequence that you are unhappy in your job which leads you to be unsuccessful in your career um, another example okay you are in a relationship i'm not saying you do not love your partner i'm not saying you know you are unhappy into that relationship but i'm saying that maybe you want to do something about your personal happiness or you have something that you don't like in there but you are afraid of saying it we are afraid of acting upon your happiness why because you may think that you know your partner is not gonna like it and they're gonna leave you hanging and there we go we do have there the fear of being left alone and allowing that fear to kind of like stop your actions brings consequences and uh, that is what the tower and the nine of swords literally, literally stand by for today's daily dose of tarot is the realization of these consequences seeing them for what they truly are and that pretty much shatters the picture that you are trying to kind of like portray it as a perfect picture in your mind we all trying to portray it as a perfect picture in your mind in our minds whether it is about the career or whether it is about the relationship that we are in or maybe about as a friendship and so on and so forth and what this is going to lead us is to kind of like take the first step of a courage to overcome that fear of you know start looking for another job or at least contemplating doing it okay 
or maybe asking for a raise. That the, the, these very two cards may express the fear of denial from our boss when we address him with, for example, a raise, and uh, by we, but by by we being afraid of doing so, never doing it. So, well, if we don't ask, the answer always is going to be no, isn't it? So here at the day, it's it's the acknowledgement of those fears, or rather like of the consequences that these fears are bringing to us. Yeah, I mean, acting upon them, it may shatter the picture. It will shatter the picture. So I guess we also have a, a choice to make. Are we going to live into such a build-up environment, or are we going to go for something bigger and something more because the other elemental dignity that we do have and i'm talking about a rough times stormy day and it is a thunderstorm outside but in any case um we do have the other elemental dignity here of the nine of swords and the nine of wands and that elemental dignity is pretty simple uh, especially in this narrative Okay, so you are going to stop beguiling, beguiling yourself, right? You will now have, we all now are going to have the insight upon all these things that we are afraid of. Well, these two cards have a question for us. What are we going to do about it? That is what we have to face uh, into this day, Monday, which happens to be. 6th of uh, June 2022. Thankfully, we didn't have the tower card at the very prime of the reading. Then these are going to be a physical circumstances that we have to handle, like being fired of work out of nowhere or being left alone out of nowhere. Okay. But luckily, these are just the conditions, or rather, like not the conditions, but the environment, or meaning what influences our fear, which what influences our fear is the very thought of that may happen. But with it, what comes with it, it is also the deprivation of we going for bigger, for more, for a better. And with the Nine of Wands being there next to the Nine of Swords, it's, it's literally the question is, what we are going to do about those fears. The, the, the choice is entirely ours. So with that said, this is the Daily Tarot Guidance for 6th of June, 2022. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.